my channel and happy 4th of July. I'm here today showing you guys how I got ready for today's festivities with a hair, makeup, and outfit look. I want to apologize that I wasn't able to upload yesterday. There were so many technical difficulties going on. I was trying to do a voiceover. It wasn't working out and everything because people were doing firecrackers outside and it was just a whole big mess. Also, if you are not subscribed, please make sure that you get yourself subscribed join the family, we are loving, we are happy, and it would just be great if you guys just click the little subscribe button down below, and don't forget to hit the notification bell, because that means you'll be notified for any time I upload a new video. Today's video shout out goes to the lovely Paulina Munoz. Thank you for having your notification bell turned on. It means so much to me. So without further ado, I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting any longer than I have already, so let's jump right into this video. To start off this eye look, I'm going to be priming my eyes with my Maybelline Age Rewind. Bit of disclaimer, my eyebrows need some serious love in this video, guys, and I didn't realize until I was editing. So no hate, please. So now I'm just going to be taking my Beauty Blender and blending this all out so that it's very smooth and we can apply eyeshadow with no issues and that our eyeshadow will stay on all day. So the palette I'm going to be using today is the Naked One palette. I'm going to be taking the shade Naked, which is a really pretty brown transition shade and using my MAC 224 I'm going to be blending this out into my crease and using Sin which is a pretty pink pearlized color I'm going to be putting that onto my lid with my tapered brush going back in with our transition shade I'm taking my MAC 224 brush and blending this from the middle to the outer V back into the crease so then everything is blended all together and using Sin I'm going to be highlighting the brow bone. I feel like adding a brow highlight just really ties the whole look together. I really went for something simple because we are going to be doing a bold lip and now I'm going to be taking the same shade and putting that into the inner corner. Going in with my Flower Beauty palette, I'm taking this really pretty pearlized white color and lining my waterline to give us an open eye look. And then to finish off, I'm using my Colossal Volume Express Mascara to give our lashes a little bit more volume. It is in 4th of July without a red lip, so I'm using my Revlon Ravishing Red Lipstick and to mattify it, I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D Translucent Powder. Now guys, Translucent Powder is the best hack if you want to mattify your lips. So I'm just taking a cotton ball and I'm mattifying it, and that's it. For my outfit, I got this tie-dye American flag shirt from Aeropostale. And for my shorts, I got them from Aeropostale as well. They're white and they're distressed. It was so cute. And for my shoes, I decided to just go with my gray Vans. For my hair, I went to my go-to half up, half down, straight style. You could always, you know, put a little red ribbon in this to make it a little bit more 4th of July. I'm actually thinking of growing my hair out, guys, so leave a comment down below if you think I should or if you like this short-haired look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I forgot to film an outro. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notification bells. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in Monday's video.